he saw a vision now verse 10 the bible says he held peter the angel and they passed the first and second word or gate watch this now they passed the first gate he was no longer in prison but he was still confined they passed the second gate far from the prison but still no liberty and the bible says and they came to the iron gate which led them to where so there is a gate that leads to the city every man's city is his place of influence did the bible not say you are <laughs> listen there is a gate that leads to the city when that gate opens the city must see you for who you are and now begin to place a demand the iron gate that leads to the city businessmen hear me you can be in a city and yet spiritually you are not there because there are gates that must open i understand what i'm telling you listen in zaria one time there are few only few people here that really understand you know that may know zaria the lord asked me to trek from a place quite far in town and to trek down to a place called aviation and i was trekking and just speaking over that territory because there are spirits that reside over that place i know what it means for the tulip gates of a city to be open can i tell you you can be doing i've seen many gifted people sir anointed and sincere but the gates that leads to the city has not been opened i've seen business people who cannot understand preachers sincere love god anointed but the two leaf gates in ancient times you would never come into a city until the gate is open is that true every city spiritually has gates just because you move there physically does not mean the gate is open there is a protocol to influence Watch this the first gate opened the second gate opened and the bible says this very gate was called the iron gate and my bible says he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in sun when jesus prophetically in psalm 24 was returning back to the land of the living there was a cry lift up your heads all he gates and be ye lifted ancient doors hold on those doors have been there for a long time they are used to closing over people and the gates replied who is this king of glory can i tell you this listen for a few of you who may have seen the posters that and i'm saying this respectfully of my coming into the city when I was praying, that map of Abuja or something, there's one, I, 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 don't, I still don't know the names of your cities, you won't believe it. Cities, the city gates, there's one map there like that. That was what I saw in my vision. That was why I told them to put it in the, you know, the, the billboard or whatever it is. Because you see, let me tell you sincerely, spiritually speaking, gates have cities, um, um, cities have gates. Want to understand this properly go to the north you won't get it very well around the south you go to the north you see the entrance of every major place you see that now the gates do not have anything closing them but you enter and believe you are in you the city will show you you are not invited 
are many business people in Abuja. You see, the Bible says they know not. Neither will they understand. They walk on in darkness and all the foundations of the earth are out of course. Psalms 82 and now verse 5 verse 6 says, I have said, ye are gods and all of you are children of the Most High. The tragedy is verse 7. It says, but you shall die like mere men and fall like one of the princes. It takes high level spiritual illumination to be able to command authority even in prayer. The foundation for effective prayer is access to the mysteries of the kingdom so that you pray in keeping with the will of God. You can know your prayer will be answered. Your intelligence is consistent with scripture. You are not praying amiss. The iron gate that opens to the city can I tell you this? Some of you here are business people. Some of you here have schools you're running. Some of you here might be other ministers who came. That there is a gate that has to open. But when that gate opens, you will marvel and wonder. The Bible says Gideon blew a trumpet and 33,000 people. You would think he did. he did not know where they were hiding. He just, there was a shofar. Can I tell you, there is an anointing called the hear ye him anointing. People don't just listen to you because you have something to say. It takes more than that. This is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. Creation was given an instruction. Hear ye him. When that grace comes on your business, right from where you are, when it comes upon the works of your hands I'm saying this because we're about to pray that that gate in the name of Jesus Christ must be opened hither and thither because the king of glory wants to make a triumphant entry are you ready to pray lift your voice and decree and declare gates a fata be open gates a fata Hita and Tita be open. Gates be open. Haladapa Shabakata Pratakata Balakotos. Gates be open. And the balako shadi kete predi kete la pasta. Embra teka paroto shoto koto parakete. The iron gate be broken, be open of influence the gates that leads to the city be open be open the king of glory desires to come in be open Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. 